What is up guys, Joe Holland here. I am gonna introduce you to a new piece of technology. Never been on the market before. No one has ever seen this thing until now. You're in luck. I'm gonna show you the ultimate hole hopping tool made by Garmin. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys this. This is the PS22 ice hopping bundle. No pole, no black box, super light, super quick. This is what I'm gonna use to get on more fish to complement my live scope. So with my live scope, I upgraded everything. I have a 93 SV. It's great. I got a 32 amp hour battery on it. I ended up going with a 1022 for the clearer image, clearer screen, helm, and then I put a 48 amp hour amp lithium battery on it. By the time you get that, you get your pole, you get your battery, you get your shuttle, everything together, it's heavy. You don't want to run around and hole hop and chase these fish that are act with that unit. I end up chasing them around with my snowmobile or I chase them and guess where they are. Now with this new hole hopper from Garmin, I could take Panoptics technology with me to the hole for less than seven pounds. Well, let me show you how it works. There she is right there, guys. That's your first look at it. But what we did here is I came out, I drilled a hole to look for these fish with my regular live scope. And I'm panning around and forward and you're seeing some fish at like 60. You're seeing some at like 90. So yeah, there's a school at 60 moving and there's a school at 90, both in that direction behind me. So rather than try to drive my snowmobile over to them, I'm gonna walk over to them with a rod, a drill, and the PS22 hole hopper. And we're gonna see if we can get on them that way. I'm gonna take you guys right with me. And we're gonna pace this off and go get them. One thing in each hand. And a GoPro. All right, got nothing yet. So they either scattered or I missed them. 20 and 30 feet away that way. So we needed to go just a little bit further, but that's the sweet thing. I, don't, I didn't have to bring my live scope to find these fish again. I know they're 20 and 30 foot that way. So let's go get them. Let's switch this back to down because that's what we're gonna fish when we get there. This is the clam shell. Got him. Oh, got to tighten that drag a little. <laughs> All right, we got our first one pegged. Nice little crappie right there. That's how you hunt them down with those two units. So one and done, they moved on me. I'm gonna switch this back to forward and we're going to look around again. There's a whole school of them. Where are they? Right over there, 20. 35 feet, 40 feet, we got a school right over there. So let's switch her back to down. A 
and go get them. Oh yeah, we're on them already. We're on them already. Got a couple lookers. Here we go. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, you missed it. There he is. Wow, that is awesome. That is not only how you find them, but that's how you catch them too, and you catch up to them. Hold him out for one second, see if we can get one more to go. Here comes one. This is awesome, I can watch my jig just like a regular live scope, watch him hit it, move it, lift it when I need to. This could be a good one here, guys. Yeah, that's a giant. That is a giant. Wow. Look at that mega. That's a big crappie right there. That's so sweet. No pole to get hung up into. Just a giant crappie right there. All because of this. I don't know if you guys can see my snowmobile and my live scope in the background. But that's how I, I located these fish. And the way I'm going to hunt them down is, oh, here we go. We got a looker. Well, that guy came in hot. Oh, he hit it up, missed it. These are nice fish, that's like a 15 incher. There he is, that's a big one, another big one. Don't have to pull my pole out. Yeah, that's a nice one there, big meaty. Don't even have to pull my pole out, that's nice. Still got a bunch on the screen. I'm going to show you these two giants. Get those babies back. I hate to let them go, but you got to do what you got to do. Oh, still got a school down there. All right, there's my jig. Got, a, got one coming in. I'm going to lift for a bite. I got the bite, but I missed him. He's still there. He's coming again. We're going to lift for a bite. Get Oh. Lost. Dang it. That was not good. That was not good fishing. And they're spooking on me, so we're going to have to chase them down again, I think. Still got a couple on the screen. That's the cool thing about having the panoptics technology is I can still see. I'm only in 12 foot of water, but I can see 8 foot both directions. So I can see I still got some crappy on the screen. Still got a couple semi-interested. So no need to do anything drastic quite yet. But it's pretty awesome hooking into a fish and not having to pull a pole up, you know, knowing that you could have the biggest crap of your life and you could just work them right around that transducer because everything's rounded off on it. All right, we got not much on the screen, so we might have to do a little hunting. We got a couple yellow perch on there. Ah, uh, that might be a crap of there. But it's awesome. It's just like having a live scope here. You know, obviously it's not as clear as the live scope. This is the panoptic technology, not the live scope technology. But I now have a unit that I can carry hole to hole hop with panoptics technology. I can not only watch how the fish moves, how it reacts, see how many fish are on there, even size up the fish, but I could also switch this and now I can get back on the fish and find them again with forward facing technology. So yeah, they're right over there, 20 feet away, 20, 25 feet away, that direction right there. We're going to walk over and whack them again. Oh, that was all messed up. So 
Let's switch that tip down. Yeah, go drill on them. Let's go get Absolute run and gun unit right there, guys. Not that far. They're really close. They are that direction right behind me. Like 20 feet, 15 to 20 feet away. So I'll see if I can get on them. I'll show you what that technology looks like. I'll show you guys how I'm finding these fish. So those, those are the actual fish right there. If you see me twist this. Okay, there's no fish there. I'm gonna twist it. Oh, there it is. Nice school right there. They're anywhere from 10 feet away to 30 feet away. So I'd probably wanna go about 20, 20 to 25 feet and get in the middle of them. I'm going to lift this up, look at the direction. All right, it's right there. And then walk right back towards my snowmobile about 24 feet, get in the middle of them, and see if I can whack them. That's about 24 feet. Set up my camera. They are right there. Let's put that back down in the down mode. We're on them, guys. We are right on them. There's my jig right on one. He's about to bite. He nibbled it. He missed it. Got more interested, so we're about to catch one. There he is, nice one there. Yep, another good one. Oh yeah, big him. Oh, get back here. Yeah, there he goes. Quick catch and release. Cool thing is the school's still there. Drop down to him. I saw that I dropped a little too far, so I lifted up. There's a bite. Got him. That's a pretty big one there. Nice. He's on the drag. Oh, yeah. Great big eye. Great big slab crappie for you. Oh, we still got two on the screen. If I can get to them. Come on. He wasn't coming off. Let's show you two at a time. Not sure if I can get them to turn or not. But they're still there. They're just on the edge. I don't know if I can get them to turn with this rattle. But I'll show you guys that fish. Nice thick green back right there. Big eyes, big fish. Getting them on the new technology, love it. This is a perfect example right here. The school's let me catch like two tops, one or two. And then they're just slowly sliding out and sitting like seven or eight feet away, 15 feet away. They're comfortable at 30 feet away and feeding at 30 feet away. So I'm using the PS22 technology to find those fish now. I use the live scope technology to locate the fish in this basin and now I'm staying on them, whacking them, catching them with this technology. Hole hopping, it's light, it's easy. One hand with my rod. Oh, got a little guy coming in. 
Oh, bigger one. He missed it. Now we're gonna get him. It took a little while, but it was worth it because this is a big one. Yep. Now they're big one. You notice I'm not pulling a pole. This is just like dropping a regular transducer down there. Yeah, there were two big ones there. The other one just slid away. But there he is, another crappie. Some of these might be people's PBs, I don't know. But when you get up into that 15 inch range, 14 inch range, and they're big and thick like that, that's a big fish right there. So I got one on the screen. This is the beauty of the pan optics as opposed to traditional sonar. So I got one on the screen about six feet away. I'm gonna see if I could work him in before I do anything drastic and move. I got a rattling cast master or a rattle master on and that'll get his attention. He'll hear it. Yep, so we got a big one. We got two there now. Oh, that might be. That might have been a toothy critter. He looked a lot bigger and he chased away my crappie. So that might have been a pike that just chased away my crappie. So we can sit and wait and hope, or we could just make things happen. I'm kind of more the make things happen type of guy. So this, this is called a clamshell, so in that clamshell you just turn that. Now you're going to be looking forward facing, and it adjusts accordingly. Alright, so they're like 15 foot away. Pretty good directional. 15 that way. 15 that way. We got them split up. We might actually just sit here for a second now that we know where they are. And if that pike gets out of here, maybe we can catch a few of these. But I don't mind moving 10 feet to catch some fish. To catch some of the biggest crappie you'll ever catch. So let's do it. Back on them, just like that. See if we can get one before they go. They are spooky. Got a looker. Got him. Got a good one, guys. Nice one here. Big old slabberoonie. Still got a couple on the screen. Got a looker. He's on it. Got him. This one feels a little smaller. Huh. Now he's fighting. Now he's fighting. Not a bad little slab. Nice pancake right there, guys. Couple left on the screen. When I release them, 
these ones go down, they kind of take the school with them. But I don't really need to kill a bunch of these fish. Got a good one coming in now. There, oh, ouch, that hurts. That hurts the feelings. Oh, and he took the school with him. That might have been the one we were looking for. I think he took the school. I'm not going to mess around waiting for him. Let's go get him. I got a hole right over there. Let's go get him. Now we can start to get ahead of him. Crazy new technology. It's actually like recycling old technology with the old PS22. But I'm going to take the jacket off, take a layer off. We're starting to heat up. But um, try to get you guys another camera angle on it. It's just adding another weapon to the arsenal to the forward facing arsenal. I'm back to my live scope. I'm gonna look around and see if there's any schools out here that I'm missing. And then I'm gonna move my snowmobile. So there's some in there at about 80, 60 and 80. Yeah, 60 and 80. So let's go get them. Then I'll change some batteries on some GoPros and show you guys how to do it. So we got some singles that 45 and 70 and then we got some up at 90 over there that we like the looks of so why don't we go see how big those ones are at 90. all right guys so i'm back on the hunt for these crappy it's warmed up as you can see i'm stripping down but i just drilled a hole over here with my snowmobile i got my live scope with the 1022 i'm um, looking around i got a couple that might be worth fishing for like right here yeah, I got a school like right here, so within 10 or 20 feet. Oh yeah, nice school. They're staying back like 20 feet. I could probably drill on those, but there was a better school at like 45 that had me really interested. Oh man, that's a good one under us. Let me just catch this fish real quick. You guys don't mind. A little, a little pause to catch a fish, do you? Here we go. Got him. Might be a decent one here. Got a pretty good tug on him. Yep. She's a plate. <laughs> nice little plate right there. Got him on the cast master. All right, so back to business. So we had some at about 45, and I don't want to bring my snowmobile over there. They're a little bit spooky. And I also don't want to bring my big unit over there because I, I have a very big unit, and I don't want to bring it over there. So I'm going to bring over the new hole hopper, PS22 hole hopper. All right, we found them. They're at about 40. Nice school at about 40. 40, 50. 55 awesome school so that way so let's go get them we're not gonna bring much rod the 22 oh let's bring a drill got him it's a big one that's a big one oh boy oh boy that's big. That's a big old plate right there, guys. Look at that one. Really, really tough school to get more than one on. But that's why it's so important to stay on them and follow them around. You know, that's a giant crappie right there. 
big old pie, pie plate. Got him. That one feels good. Oh boy. He's got him. He's another 15er. <laughs> Holy cow. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is. Got him. Another big one. Big, big head shakes. Another slob. That didn't take long. That's the thing about this unit, man. Compliment my other live scope with the pan optics and you just stay on the fish at all times. I mean, look at the size of this fish right here. I mean, I am on them, on them. All right, I'm gonna drop down. Catch another one real quick for you. Look at that guy. He's got shoulders on him. I'm just on the fish at all times with this unit. Boom, just like that. Literally moved eight steps away from where I was fishing. Oh, it's another big one. I could fill a pickup truck right now with 14 inch crappie. Get on auto, that's a lot better. I had the gain cranked up a little bit too much there. Here we go, there he is. Another big one. That's a big one. These are all megas. They're all plates. I mean, look at the size of that one, guys. Absolute plate. Oh, missed that one. Got that one. That's a pretty big one there. I think I'm gonna have to fight this one for a little while. Big head shakes. Oh, got him in the hole. That's a big one. Jeez. Stack some serious, serious weight on the ice right now. Got him. I mean, that's just crazy. Getting on these fish and staying on them. Staying on them's the key. Whoa. What's he doing in the mix? We, you were not invited to the party. This guy was not invited to the party. Let's let him go. Hopefully he doesn't take the school with him. Crappy won't follow him, will he? Good one. Pretty good one, guys. This is just awesome. Getting on them, staying on them. I don't think this one's a crappy. If it is, it's one of the hardest fighting ones I've ever had. I think, I think it might be a bass. No, it's crappy. It's a donkey. <laughs> How important is it when you're out here fishing to be on the fish, 
stay on the fish at all times. It's, it's the difference between like hoping and sitting and waiting and smashing. It, that's, the, that's the difference right there. So buying the right tools, having the right tools, using the right tools, knowing how to use them, using those tools to catch the fish, you could stack fish. That's a big one. Oh boy. I mean, as quick as you could drop, as quick as you can catch when you're on them. You could stay on them. Wow. Awesome. Putting the Paragon to work. Oh, another giant. Really hoping you guys are going to see this footage. Absolute smash fest. I mean, there's 25 on the screen right now. And they're all PBs for somebody. They're all somebody's PBs. All right. That's long enough. giant not a big one Got him. Oh, the bass. The bass. What are you doing down there? Might be another bass. If that's a crappie, that's a big one. Yeah, it's a bass. Big old crappy. Got him. That's a good one. Just when I thought they couldn't do anything to improve 
what they've done to the ice fishing world. Garmin went and did it again, and I have the secret right here. Here it is, new for the year, the PS22 Hole Hopper. This thing is not gonna replace your live scope. You can use it solo without the live scope, or you can use it to complement your live scope like I do. My live scope weighs probably 30 pounds with a 48 amp hour battery, 10 inch screen, and all the stuff that goes with it. I don't like the whole hop with it, but this thing comes in at under seven pounds total and gives me the ability to whole hop, still have forward facing sonar, still have a wider angle looking down and I could look forward and find the fish. So basically now my whole hopping unit is right here the PS22 hole hopper. I'm gonna pull up with my Garmin live scope. I'm gonna drill one hole. If I can find the fish with that one hole, look out there 120 feet. And then I'm gonna go attack them with this thing and stay on them all day long. Under seven pounds, you can put this and your rod in one hand and your auger in the other and run around and stay on the fish. It's crazy the difference between staying on the fish and popping one or two, going back to your live scope or having to bring your snowmobile or carry a huge heavy unit around. You could bring a regular sonar down with you or a Vexilar or anything like that, or you could bring forward facing technology. Right out of the package, this is the first thing I noticed right there. It's got a clamshell new mount on a so we're shooting different frequencies than your live scope so if you guys are starting to get a little some fish that are live scope wary this is your answer for that the ps22 is about a fifth i think of the frequency that the that the live scope shoots down so we got an adjustable clamshell forward facing down and even shallow water forward facing deep water forward facing and super shallow water forward facing right there super quick seven inch screen crazy light ultra high def and then i don't even know what we're calling this thing but that's how you do your directional right there if you got thick ice you can slide you could slide this way out if you got thin ice you could slide it down to to whatever you want this is not a float this is actually your directional so you set that along with your transducer with your arrow screw it in you got a pointer arrow right there showing you your direction and then you just take this and you spin it around and that gives you your direction for forward facing it also gives you your direction for down let's take a look at it down the hole all right so we got a little bit more ice than that so we're gonna go down and that is our direction So right now I'm in down mode, as you can see, it's in the clamshell, pointed down just like that, tightened up, down mode. And it's pointed this way when this arrow is like this. So if you have another guy fishing next to you and you wanna watch both jigs on the screen, you could still do that just like you can with your lives. And if you wanna turn and look around, you just turn this thing like that. I just grab it like this, some people grab it, some people will grab it from underneath like a remote control. And this arrow on this side tells you the direction it's going. So when you're in down shot, it's shooting mostly this way. When you're in forward, it's gonna be pointing towards this arrow right here. So we got some fish under us right now. Why don't we drop down and see if we can pop one of these guys while we're shooting video. But this is gonna give you a lot wider angle in shallow water and in deep water too. It comes with a lens for the transducer. So if you're in deep water, you put your lens on and it has a better vision or you could just pinch the screen like that. And get a really close up on, on what you're doing. But to switch it to forward mode, just loosen that knob on the clamshell, put it to one of the arrows, drop her down. The unit picks up on its own, it's automatic. Now we're looking in forward mode. And we can scan around just like just like we're using our regular live scope to look around and see where these fish went. No more poles. You don't have to pull it out every time you catch a fish. It's just it's just this super smooth clamshell. Nothing's gonna get hung up. No line's gonna be wrapped around it. And now we're looking around and looking for the fish to try to stay on them. There he is. Just like that, guys. Pretty easy. No more pulling your live scope pole out of the way. You just work the fish right around the transducer and big old 
giant slab crappie. Just like that. What do you think? Would you guys let him go or would you eat him? I think we're gonna let him go and let him grow. There she is, guys. The new PS22 hole hopper from Garmin. It's definitely a game changer. Guys I could see using this thing as a tool would be guys that want a entry level forward facing sonar entire setup. This is how it comes, you get the whole thing. It's just open it up out of the package, hook up the battery and go. Other guys are gonna be the guys that already have live scope that want a whole hop, have a different frequency, have a different unit to whole hop with where you still have forward facing sonar and you could just carry that thing around for the rest of the day under seven pounds. And guys in a group, you know, if you guys are group crappy fishing, you know, I've seen a handful of guys that fish crappy in a group. If you have four or five guys, there's no need to have four or five more live scopes anymore. Get one to find the fish. Everybody else can have one of these at a lot lower cost and a lot easier to lug around, carry around, move around. And this is all you're gonna need for your fishing part of it. You know, use your live scope to find the fish, locate them, and then stay on them with this. So this is more of a unit and a tool that complements the live scope rather than replaces it, although it can replace it. So it's not gonna be as clear as your live scope, but you know, that's what you sacrifice 40 pounds for right there. But definitely a tool I'm super excited about for this season. Super excited to chase down crappie with it, chase down walleye out west, or ch chase down any kind of fish with this thing. This thing is light, it's easy, and it's super fast. And you're gonna get on fish, you're gonna stay on fish a lot better, and it's just gonna make your day on the ice a lot better when you can get on the fish and then stay on the fish. As these crappie get tougher to catch, more competitive, more competitive waters, later in the season, you're gonna have to hole hop. You're gonna have to chase after them. You're gonna have to go after them. And they're not gonna just sit still like they will with a live scope sometimes. And that's where this thing is gonna be a huge factor. We've noticed on high pressure bluebird days, a lot of times that live scope will, I don't know what it's sending down, if it's a noise or a beam or what it's sending down, but some days the fish are just negative to it. This will give you a different frequency and a different look that the fish aren't used to hearing. And it's not quite as loud as the live scope. So on negative days, tough days, bluebird days, I'm definitely gonna be using this unit a lot more than my regular live scope.